guys are too kind. Thank you. Welcome to another edition of Wix Attic Gaming Corner. This is Silent Angel, and we're going to be playing Professor Layton and the Curious Village. I'll tell you right now, I love Professor Layton. I have every single one of his games, and <laughs> I have the movie. So, this is going to be very, very exciting. Let's go! Hmm, enter my name. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, well, we're just gonna go with like uh, L for kicks and giggles, okay? Alright, L. To my dear friend L. The things we, the saw, things we that saw that day, day in the village became a secret we would have to keep from everyone for the rest of our lives. Because, you see. I forgot Luke reads the rest of the letter. It's the Layton Mobile! Gotta love that hat! Dragonfly. I don't understand, I don't understand. Why are we going to help solve an inheritance dispute? Sorry, sometimes they read it, and sometimes they don't. Luke, my boy, do you really think I would take on such an ordinary request as that? Oh no, this is an altogether unique and exciting situation, and it has piqued my intellectual curiosity. But I suppose it would be best to explain the case before we arrive at our destination. Two months ago, Baron Augustus Reinhold passed away. Shortly after his death, his will was disclosed. The contents of it were fascinating, to say the least. The Reinhold family treasure, the golden apple, is hidden somewhere within this village. To whomever successfully locates this treasure, I offer the whole of my estate. <gasps> Naturally, those who attended the reading of the will immediately set out in search of the golden apple. But in the end, Everybody came back empty-handed. Well, no one said it was going to be easy. It turns out that no one had even heard of such a treasure existing, until it's mentioned in the will. Wow, that's some puzzle, all right. Quite. Augustus Reinhold staked his entire fortune just to create one more puzzle before his death. <laughs> it, a very difficult puzzle, so, you know. What a perplexing individual. I wish I could have met him while he was still alive. Me too. It certainly sounds like you two would have gotten along, Professor. By the way, just what is this golden apple, anyhow? Some speculate it's a rare antique, while others say it could be a gem, yet its identity remains elusive. Yep. But look, I can't shake the feeling that this matter is linked to some larger mystery, something huge. 
going with that lightning gut of his. Ha! Huh. Is that your famous intuition acting up again, Professor? Hmm. Well, our first step is getting to town. This is all so exciting! I hope St. Mystere is ready for the famous archaeologist and puzzle-solving detective, Herschel Layton. <laughs> oh, Luke, you know as well as I do that I am no detective. Yeah, but you might as well be one, dude. Augustus Reinhold's wife, Lady Dahlia, has asked me to investigate the situation. It seems she came across my name by chance when reading an article about me in the papers. And you immediately decided to take her up on her request, huh? Well, of course. Oh, well, look. A true gentleman never refuses the request of a beautiful lady. If you say so, Professor. We should be nearing the town by now. Look at the map in the envelope and help me with directions. You got it! What in the... What's this? Lady Dahlia seems to have given us a test. We'll need to decipher this map in order to find the village. She wants to see if we're capable of cracking the mystery surrounding the Reinhold fortune. Care to give it a go, Luke? I'll do my best. A puzzle like this should be a snap for the apprentice of the great Professor Layton. Self-proclaimed apprentice of the great Professor Layton. Very well then, Luke. I'll leave this one to you. Think of it as a warm-up for things to come. Puzzle number one. Where's the town? This puzzle is worth 10 out of 10. Well, at the moment, it's 10 out of 10. Pickerats. My village is on a road that leads to no other town. I look forward to seeing you there. Use your stylus to draw a circle around the right village and then touch submit. If you didn't realize it, this game is supposed to be for the Nintendo DS. So we gotta touch the screen and then it's gonna tell us what we're supposed to be doing. All right, so what we've gotta do is find a road that doesn't connect to any other towns. And I believe it's this one right here. So we're gonna circle this village. Well, here's my guess. Legend's apprentice saves the day. That's correct. The only town that isn't connected by roads to another town is the one in the upper left area of the map. It looks like you're all ready to start solving puzzles. There we go. Now we should be able to make our way to the village. Right you are. We should see it on the horizon any moment now. Huh? Professor, do you mean to say you already figured out the town's location? <laughs> I'm afraid I couldn't help myself. A basic puzzle like that is easy enough to solve with a glance. Anyhow, you'd best gather your things, Luke. We've arrived. I love this music. All right, anyway, let's go. And 
Ain't that a peculiar looking building? Interesting. It appears that this drawbridge is the entrance to the village. And we're stuck on the outside. What should we do, Professor? Oh, look over there. There's a man standing on the other side of the river. Maybe he can help us. Tap an area to investigate. Okay. Good day, sir. We'd very much like to gain access to the village. Could you please drop the bridge for us? His name is Franco. Do I look like the sort to go dropping the bridge for a bunch of fancy looking outsiders? <laughs> you got a lot of nerve. We received a letter of invitation from Lady Dahlia. I don't suppose that changes things, does it? From Lady Dahlia? Well then, I'd sure like to lower the bridge for you, Mr. Fancy Pants. But the engine is busted, and I can only move this blasted bridge with the hand crank. Humph. <laughs> There's all these infernal slots I could put the crank in, but I got no clue which one to use. Humph. <laughs> so smart guy, you got any idea which one is the right one? Puzzle number two. And it's worth 15 pigrats. There's no way to lower the bridge and get across without inserting the crank into the correct slot. Choose the slot that fits the crank shown below. Okay. Tap the crank to change the viewing angle. Alright. So, if we flip this... Well, I guess we're not flipping it necessarily. Let's see. It's not... Not that one. It's not that one, I don't think. I think. I don't know. Hmm. Peculiar. That's what I thought. Yeah. It's not that one, that's for sure. So... I really want to say it's this one. Should do it. Every puzzle has an answer. So, my gut feeling was originally wrong. Nice job. Now drop that bridge. That'll do it. Hold on a second. I'll let her down. <laughs> gonna say it again. I just don't feel right about letting outsiders into St. Mystere. But if you're Lady Dahlia's guests, I guess I'd better. At least give her my regards, you hear? I wonder what those other slots are even for. Seriously. <sighs> yes! We finally arrived in St. Mystere! I'm so excited! I wonder what mysteries await us here. Haha, <laughs> well Luke, we'll find out soon enough. Just be careful not to let your excitement cloud your ability to analyze your surroundings. Okay. So, I'm just going to skip through this. It's just going to teach us how to move around. It's 
So remember when you want to move, just tap the shoe, go on, then give it a try. Well first, let's click on some things, because sometimes, oh you know what, I don't think I'm going to be able to find it yet. Let's just look for the manor. So we click the shoe, and then we click the direction we want to go in. Hey now, don't run off yet, I got something you should hear first. Guess we're not doing that, so I guess he's gonna tell us. Kehehe, <laughs> what a dandy set of fellows you two are. Must be new to St. Mysterie, eh? The name's Statchen Scarfin. And I've got some advice for you. Go tap that barrel back there with your stylus. Don't ask questions, just do it. The one that's shaking. Ooh, look. I found a hint coin. Kehehe, <laughs> felt good, didn't it? Round these parts, that's what we call a hit coin. When you find yourself up against a doozy of a puzzle, you'll want a hint. Trust me on this one, fellas. And it's just those times when you'll want to use a hint coin to purchase a hint. I bet you think puzzles will be a breeze now, eh? Think again. There are a limited number of hint coins in this world, so don't go wasting coins on any old riddles. Because if you do, when you come across a real stumper, you'll be sorry. Real sorry. Mind you, hint coins won't always be stuffed inside barrels. Check any object that seems suspicious. Got all that? Good. Be seeing you around. So, that's why I was, you know, clicking around. Like this. Alright, anyway, now we're gonna go forward. I've been thinking, Professor. Shouldn't we be keeping a record of our investigation? You've brought up a very good point, Luke. Let me explain how to go about saving your game. Okay, so once again, I'm just going to skip through this because it's telling you to click on the trunk and then you can click on the feather pen and the piece of paper to save and it's going to tell you where you can redo the puzzles you've already done. And then it'll also show you puzzles that you probably haven't no, they won't show you the puzzles you haven't gotten yet. Alright, well, I'll show you. So, this is where we are. This is where we need to be. So, let's go. Chapter 1. Reinhold Manor awaits. Make your way to Reinhold Manor on the east side of town. Save my progress? Okay. We're going to save right here. All right. This way. Professor, why don't we see that what that person over there has to say first? All right then. Uh-oh, sounds like we're gonna get a puzzle. Usually anytime you see that red exclamation point, we got ourselves a puzzle. Oh, hello! I'm Percy, Saint Mysterious unofficial writer in residence. Reinhold Manor, you ask? Head up the road to your right. It's immense, so you'll know it when you see it. But before you go, why not try your hand at this puzzle I thought of? See if you can figure out which house is mine from the instructions I give you. I'll even sweeten the deal for you. If you manage to solve this puzzle, I'll tell you about this village. So, how about it? You will try, won't you? After all, a ride here is nothing without an audience. Uh-oh, we missed a puzzle. See, and as you can tell, the picker rats are going up, and the more picker rats it's worth, the harder the puzzle. Can you find my house? Go out the front door of my place and turn left. At the first intersection you come across, take a right. Turn right again at the following intersection, and you'll come face to face with the morning sun. Circle my house. Alright. Okay, let's see. Go out the front door of my place. Turn first intersection you to take right, turn right again at the following intersection and you come face to face with the morning sun. Okay, so, 
I'm going to try it with this house. So, if we go out, we turn left, the first intersection, take a right, and then at the next intersection, we come right again, and we come face to face with the morning sun. Also, I did that by, you know, well, let's see if it's right, and then I'll tell you why, how I did it. That should do it. Yep. Every puzzle has an answer. That's right. This is a problem where working backwards gets the job done fastest. It takes far too long to check each house individually. Now, what I actually did, though, is I looked at all of the houses. One, I, I did it with this one, and this one's actually facing south. So, I realized that when I was facing south, that if I did that, I would end up facing to the west when I was done. So, I looked around and saw this house. This house also happens to be the only house that is facing north in this puzzle. Impressive. I thought I'd set out quite the puzzle, but you made short work of it. Now for that gossip I promised you. The Reinhold family owns all of the land this village is built on. Upon. I hear they own all the buildings too. I guess you could say this town sort of belongs to the Reinholds. Well, I'll be on my way now, but rest assured that the next time we meet, I have a, I'll have a harder puzzle for you. Oh, look. I actually thought a hint coin would be there. Guess not. That clock tower is rather worse for wear. For the wear. Speaking of clocks, I've got just the puzzle for you. Admittedly, it concerns a more modern type of clock, but never mind that minor detail. Okay. Digital digits. Imagine a digital clock like the one shown below. How many times will the clock display three or more of the same number in a row over the course of one day? In case you were wondering, the clock in this puzzle displays time on a 12-hour scale, not on military time. Three or more of the same number in a row over the course of one day. Alright, well actually, you guys can think about that. But we're going to come back to this later. Maybe in another video. Don't get discouraged. Collect your thoughts and try again. Well, we're going to actually head on to where we're supposed to be going. Hey, in the comments, why don't you just, uh, you know, maybe if you come up with the answer, you can tell me what it is in the comments, huh? <laughs> Professor, look at that man standing in the street. He's blocking the path up to Reinhold Manor. How terribly rude. Perhaps he'll move for us, but I have a feeling he has no intention of doing anything of the sort. Well, let's see if he wants something then. Looks like he has a puzzle for us. Marco, hold up. Never seen you two here before. What's a couple of fresh faces like yourselves doing here? We're here by invitation of the Reinholds. Now if you'll excuse us, we have business through the gate. Business with the Reinholds. Is that so? Something strange here. Yeah, you're a fishy pair. Hmm. I don't trust you, that's for sure. But I'll let you pass if you can solve this riddle, see? Just to warn you, it's a tough one. Isn't gonna be easy, is it? No way. Definitely not gonna be easy. Lightweight, huh? Here we have eight small weights that all look the same. However, one of the weights in the group is slightly lighter than the rest. Using the scale two times, you can find out which of these weights is lighter than the rest. So, which weight is the light one? Alright. best part about this is that I believe we can press the restart button to figure it out. You know, we can press the restart button and then... Okay.
According to this, these two equal the same. Hmm. Well, that's peculiar. Slightly lighter than the rest. what how about I just leave this video here and you know well yeah so if you liked it don't forget to kick that like button in the teeth and if you didn't like it kick the dislike button in the teeth and comment because you know can't improve if we don't have feedback uh, subscribe and tell everybody now the question is Will I figure out the answer to this puzzle? Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. But this is Silent Angel of Wixotic Gaming Quarter, and I'm out.